scientist Cameron Moreland. No matter where you look across the upper Midwest today, temperatures were above normal and it's going to stay that way for the foreseeable future. Here's a look at the next seven days. Our normal high is in the lower 60s and we're going to be running a good 5 to 10 to 15 degrees above that as we make our way through this upcoming weekend and into early next week. Right now we have above normal mid 60s to lower 70s where we've had more sunshine today north and west of Green Bay. Temperatures are currently in the 70s where we've had more clouds south and west of Oshkosh. We're looking at temps in the mid to upper 60s in Appleton. It is now mostly sunny and 68 degrees in Green Bay. Tons of sunshine. Look at all those colors on the trees. The temperature is 68 and we've got northeast winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our main weather maker today, an area of high pressure slowly building in from the north. It'll control our weather for tomorrow as well, but then we turn our attention to an area of low pressure now churning across Mississippi and Arkansas. It is going to be moving north tomorrow. You can see some scattered showers and thunderstorms here from Arkansas east into northern Florida and Georgia and that activity is headed our way. It won't be here till Thursday. So tonight a mixture of clouds and stars tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. So much like today, we'll have some pockets where the clouds hold tough. Other areas will see sunshine pretty much all day long. But as we head into tomorrow night, the clouds will be increasing. Highs tomorrow, mainly in the lower 70s, 60s near the lake with northeast winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. On Thursday, a good chance of showers by morning, so it could be wet at the bus stop. And then the clouds and the on and off showers will continue throughout the afternoon and evening. There's even a chance for a rumble of thunder. And that chance of some showers and even a thunderstorm will continue right through this upcoming weekend. So your forecast for tonight calls for once again a mixture of clouds and stars. Some areas will stay clear all night. Other areas could stay cloudy, especially south and west of the Fox Valley. Overnight lows will be in the lower 50s. Some patchy fog is also possible tomorrow. Sun and clouds upper 60s to lower 70s. It will be cooler near the lake and of course a little bit warmer inland away from the chilly waters of Lake Michigan. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 72. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Eats for East and we did that today. I forecast 71. The actual high temperature was 71 degrees. On Thursday, cloudy skies, some on and off showers, a rumble of thunder is possible with more clouds. It's going to cool back down. Highs will be in the 60s, still above normal for this time of year. Mostly cloudy on Friday. A couple of showers are possible with a high near 70. Over the weekend, sunshine mixing with clouds, a chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. It's going to be warmer with temperatures in the 70s. If enough sunshine peaks out of the clouds, some spots could flirt with 80 once again wow. and then lower 70s continuing for Monday and Tuesday with sun and clouds and maybe a shower. And Nina, there are no big cool downs <laughs> in sight, not I for the next it. two weeks. Summer just wants to hold on. I mean, as long as we can hold off that deep freeze for as long as possible, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, normal lows now in the 30s and 40s over the next seven oh. days. Lows will be in the 50s and 60s. <laughs> this is probably going to be one of the warmest Octobers on record, if not the warmest. Enjoy it while it lasts. All yeah. Right, Cameron, thank you. Well, still to come here, pink is a popular color this time of year. I'm wearing it.